Hello. Hello. Hello, yeah. Hello, guys. Uh, welcome to another episode of um, of Dev Station Show, and um, we will be starting off from where we stopped last time. Um, so yeah, just find out that my previous um, stream didn't go as as well planned. Like um, so kind of like the stream stopped in the middle and I didn't know that and I was streaming for almost three hours just to find out that I, that I actually streamed for for 30 minutes uh, and that was kind of like painful and um, so in that case I'll be kind of like going back to previous stuff I would and um, I'll be talking through, um, through the previous um, And uh, um, uh, so kind of like in the hour from the beginning from the last stream, since I found out that everything we just kind of like stopped at a point. Um, yeah. Okay. Let me... Okay. Hello. Hello. Looks like my audio is, is having some issue. Okay. Um, yeah, like I was saying, so we'll be starting off from where we left off at last time, which yeah. was, um, Okay, let me just. Okay, at the last stream, kind of like stopped at um, creating a a launch screen on Figma, and I kind of was illustrating how to do that on Figma. So I think that's where we stopped that. And um, so let's start from the side. Let me see. Um, so the last stream we own, we actually finished up um, creating the Figma um, um, for the splash screen we want to achieve, which is basically something like this. Um, so we are trying to get something like this. So when the user like app on the mobile phone, so it has this pop-up like with this launch screen when the app is kind of trying to start a phone. And um, so on our Figma, so this, yes, in your Figma, click on this, click on, um, group one for our previous um, um, stream. So when you um, click on this, head over to this place, then click on export group one. When you click on that, so it will actually show up this um, pop up to kind of like save the um, image on your desktop, on your desktop um, download folders. Um, if that is not where it's trying to save it, you can actually save it at any location, but I prefer saving it at downloads folder. 
and you can change the name to whatever you want it to be called and then hit on save button and actually i will not do this right now because i already have um this saved on my on my download folder already so i will not go ahead and save it so i just cancel this um, once you have that done um the next thing is just to close this off head over to head over to your vs code which is this and uh, we are going to um, import that image we just saved right now to our vs code and to do that we just um click over here yeah um no so we just click on our roots directory of our project folder click on the root create another folder called assets i'm just creating a folder called assets so that's the folder we'll be using we'll be um, uh, images yeah in this folder that create another folder called images um, and that's it and um, you can go also go ahead and create another for, for translations well we will not be using right now more be maybe later in the future we will we, we make use of that but we can create the folder for now so we create that and leave it like this and um, so the next step will be to look for where we save the folder which i said should be in the downloads and location so for me i saved um the image as this is it i can just click on that minimize this drag drag there's no dragging so basically drag this and drop it um over here once you get that done and um um looks like the stream is having some issues um let me just fix this up guys um so we added the image to our asset for which is um as this cancel that um we want to use image in our launch screen and how to do that will be so we are trying to get something like this when the app is popping down so just minimize this and then we need to um a, um, a footer package called um Fruit and native. I'll just show you guys the part in our footer pub website. So you can just open up the browser over here. <sighs> Type okay, so yeah, so this is basically what we're trying to add to our app. Let's search for it. So when you head over to your pub.dev, click on it. I have this showing up here. So this is everything concerning the package we're going to use. So basically this package is going to help us to install um, native launch screen, um, change our native, refute our native launch screen to what like, kind of like something like this over here, they're using footer image for their launch screen. We want to kind of like use our own brand image or brand logo or something like that for our launch screen, which, which is what we are heading over to. So how to do that. So first of all, we add this package over here. Click on this. This we copy the <coughs> we copy the command to add the package. Head over to VS Code. This up over here. Then paste the command here. So we have the package is now installed in our VS code in our footer project. So 
to see that, we can go over to uh, prospect.yaml file, click on that, minimize this, then let's reduce this. And uh, so yeah, you can find the package installed over here, Fraternity Splash, and let's um, configure the package to use it for what we want. To configure the package, um, so head over below your dev dependencies. Right here we have Qualifuta Native Splash. You can just copy the same name over here. This is that what we want to type in. Copy that. Yeah, paste that here. Yeah. This. And now we want to configure how uh, we want our Splash, um, our launch Splash screen to look like. So, no, that's not it. So let's enter one, two, yeah, that's it. So first of all, we give it a color. Um, want to give it the exact color of our of our design, and um, to get this color of our design, we can head over to. Um, so this is the app we are trying to build. So this is where I got the design from. So I explained everything about this in our previous. Um, and it's not mine. And um, so to get a color we want to use. So here we can find the details about the color. And um, so this is the color we want to use. Um, okay, the color is not specified here, but it's actually dark black. So we can just use black color for that. And then we can just close this off. And um, uh, what else we have to close off? So uh, let's go over to our view. VS code, color code for black should be dog multiple zeros. Should be five, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So these are black color. We got that. And next one will be we have to add an image. And now we have to get our image location, which is assets slash images. Um, but before we can actually do this, then um, tell Futa where to get all our images, where we are keeping all our images or all our assets for this app. To do that, to let Fruita know about all our assets or all our, everything we are going to use, both the images, font, and all that stuff, we have to kind of like register everything here. So to register the whole stuff, come down here under this asset. We remove, we don't need the second line, remove that. So under this one, we're going to have specify the directory, which is assets. Say, Sets, yeah, search images, then we don't need the other ones. Put that off. So we really have access search. Does it so over here? We do the same for here. Just copy this Head over here, paste that in. And slash the name of the image we want to use here, which is we go over in here. You can see it's called brand name. And we have brand name dot png. It's already suggested it for us, so that should be dot png. And um, assets slash images slash brand name dot png, which is our image. Close this off, and then um, so what else should we do? So we just save this, save our um this file or the changes we made here we save the changes by hitting our command and s key on our keyboard and that will change everything and then footer will just run through everything here to see if there's changes and something to download and we to do that for us once that is done let's now use this um this package here to generate a launch screen for us and how to do that so there's a command we can use and it's being specified over here so we have to run this command here copy that we go over to our, our 
so we just paste it here and make sure you are in your root directory your app root directory which is this um in your terminal paste that here and um so now we hit enter and let's wait for everything to generate so it will actually generate everything that we need and there's it we are good to go so over here you can see native scratch complete now go finish video something awesome you rock thanks for that and um yeah so we got everything installed right now but let's test it out and see if this is actually working and um to test that out we just need to stop our app for running right now close this stopping the app for running running so we can just minimize this how's it working Gosh. come on so we just remove this remove this and um so we can just run it again so that should be just run that oh okay we go back to our main that that's and we can run that again and let's just wait for our footer um command to view that app for us and we can see what's going on here if we go over to debug console i can see what it's doing let's just give it some time to build and uh, while that is happening we can just go over here and see what else we could actually use for this package so you can actually add background image and all that stuff which is what we did Oh no, we didn't add background image, we added an image where you can actually add a using that command. Um, um, then you can add color, dark color since when the app is in a dark mode, you can use a dark color and other stuff you can do with that. So there's a whole lot you can do. Um, I would advise you guys to kind of like read more about this. Uh, once more there, so yeah, so this is it. So, we got that working. If you look, you can see they did this again and restart the app. So we got the native splash screen working. Let's try that again. Splash screen working, which is what we needed, and that's working as expected. We achieved something. Ah, uh, one more kind of like when the app is for dead, when the screen is done, they kind of like advise to run this command, um, this code right here. So I can just, whenever your initialization is completed, remove the splash screen. So basically this, and I think we can add that somewhere over here in our main. Um, main dot dot. And, um, that should be here if I'm correct. And um so okay. save and um let's do that up again, kind of like stopped, um disconnected it, I mean to say. So let's review the app again and um Okay, it's taking some time. Um, let's give it some time to build up. And um, yeah, so bravo. So that's the launch screen working, and um, we are done with the launch screen part of this app. Let's close this off. We don't need this. And um, so we completed this. How to add custom launch screen like a pro to your footer app, which is what we did. And uh, we can scroll down over here. 
which is next one on our table today is to how to add custom welcome screen to our app. So we'll be dealing with this. We'll be adding a welcome screen. So what, what we want to achieve is that this will be our launch screen. And also in our welcome screen, we want to still use the same um, text, but not an image. Over here in our launch screen, we use um, our splash screen, we use the image. We converted the text to an image. Well, right now in our welcome screen, we don't want to use an image. We'll be using an animate. Uh, we'll be animating this test over here, and uh, for our welcome screen. So to do that, let's head over to our VS um, VS Code and create our welcome screen. And um, so close this off. Make this thing, and uh, head over here. And um, so let's. And um, so yeah, so we'll be adding our welcome screen to our this folder called launch screen. But I think the name can be confusing. Um, we could have I could have named this something else, like welcome screen or something like that. But I don't know. I named it launch screen. But yeah, so we'll be adding our welcome screen to this folder right here inside the folder we have another folder called presentation and inside the presentation folder we're adding this welcome screen in there so let's view the welcome screen up let's view that and um that will be this so let's start so we have a scaffold for us and let's give our scaffold a background color Let's say background color. Um, we can actually use full tablet in color since the background will be black. Um, but I want to I want us to have a single source of truth for our team and all our colors. Uh, we can do that inside our core folder. We can create another core folder called team, and um, inside this team. Folder, we can create another file app underscore colors dot dot as we'll be creating, and that's inside this team folder. So inside our app color dot dot, so let's create a class. This plus. They can just say app colors this because we don't want to initialize or instantiate this app with this class. Just add that there. Our colors, our team colors, and um, we'll be creating a static variables for all our colors in this stuff. And our first color we'll be creating is the background color, which is black. I'll say static. Constant and um, say color not primary, so we can give it a name. Let's use our um, I prefer kind of like most of the times I prefer naming um, most variables, like we want most of our let's say teaming variables or something like that, using the app name first, then, then adding. Um, the name of the variable at the end, so we can just say mental, mental uh, back. Let's say mental back, back color. That's the name we want to give it, and we can say this is equal to color. And then over here, we can. Specify our color, come on, specify our color saying is then FF. Now, basically, this FF means full transparency. Um, opacity, something like that will not be the transparency, will be the opacity will be full, which it should be 1.0. That's what FF something, or something like that. And um, there's other stuff you can add there, there's other initials for this, but. 
using FF for full color. So give me the full color. And then our color with dark, which should be five zeros. And we can get dark from over here. We already have similar color here. Just copy this out and paste, paste it again. So we paste this over here. And now we are getting our full color, which is what we needed. And then to fix an error we are having right now, see, we're having this red line. To fix that, just simply hover over there, add import your material package, which is basically this. And now we have the error fixed. And that's it. So we created our first color in our single source of truth for colors. And then copy this, head over to, save this again, head over to, I don't think we need this open, we can just close this off. Head over to our welcome screen, and then our bell up button color, we can just call the class created just up color dot and to that, and that's it. Save this, and we can see everything over here. It's done dark. Um, one more thing before we continue, we just have to remove this debug stuff over here. To do that, head over to main, let's straight, straight over to main, and um, over here before home, can just add another parameter called yeah, this and set this to false. And this
Okay, guys, sorry. I just found out that this show was having an issue. I think I fixed that up. Um, and um, let's go back to where we are right now. Um, so let's continue. Or our test we'll be using it in, the, in our app and uh, we call the here we play right now we had two um, static variables right here we can just replace this test we have here with the custom tests we create Got a custom test, the brand one, uh, which is nice. And um, right now, so let's add more styles. Let's say test. Test uh, and over here, let's add, add a color so I can just see our um, test color for now. Uh, we can just say. Let's give it a white color. And here is our test, the first test we have. Um, but we don't want it to be this color because according to the app, according to the design we have, it should be this, should be this color over here, color over here. And um, to get this color, we can just Head over to the design here. And uh, scroll a bit down. And here's the color, which does 877. And let me just type that in. And uh, that should be eight double seven, eight double seven, one B C. Let's see what that looks like. And uh, we had a color over here. Let's copy this. Head over to our welcome screen file. And um, this color. So this can trying to kind of minimize hard co hard coded variables and some stuff. We can actually we can actually keep this and monitor it. Um, that should be yes. Save this. And now we have the test change to the brand color we had needed. And let's move on to fixing the test. We add a font size, font size of 32, 32.0. And that's it. And we add a font weight and say font weight. Font weight dot normal and um, that's looking cool to what we needed. And let's add the second, um, the second test. Let's just copy this. Is this over here? 
change this to brand name too and um, change the color to white this should be white but let's get a color from the app team So over here, we can see the what the light background mode they're using. So there's a color which is says F F six F four F B. Um, that's it. Save this. Copy this, head over here, paste this, and um, hit N. And we can see what that looks like. Let's minimize this. Oh, so we have an issue. Come on, that's not what I needed to do. Static constant color is meant to meant to um right. Copy this, head over to welcome screen over here. Replace the color we have here with it. Now we are having the desired color for the app for the brand. Um, let's give these two tests a space. There should be a, a space between the two words. Um, okay. So eight point zero. Um, yeah, it's a space. Now, right now, we need to center these tests. Um, in the center of the screen. To do that, we can add a parameter in our row, which say main axis. We can use our main axis. The center um, that is centered for us. Um, one more thing. So right now, the welcome screen is looking as look different. We want to have an animation on the test right here, and to do that, we can use a package called test typewriter uh, I have a correct spell let me see We're going to use should be this the first one, yeah. This one, so let's install this package. Um, then, over here in your VS Code, go over to your terminal, it's this command that we copied, and then hit enter.
and the package is now added to our app. Um, app. Now we can start using it. So add we can it as a parent to this test widget and um, name which is type duration no no I can now set duration here. We can use filter duration. In milliseconds, you can give it something like 400. 400 milliseconds for the duration. And um, uh, show this. And right here is our welcome screen. And we are having the cool, nice animation for the test, which we can see again. Yeah, and right now we are now done with um, our welcome screen. So, so far we we were able to add So, we are able to add our launch screen, which is this. We added our launch screen to the app. And right now we we just added a welcome screen to the app too. And um, next thing we are going to do is to create an onboard page. But before we can able to do that, we have to add a package we'll be using for state management on our app called GetX. So we'll be using GetX for state management throughout our Flutter app. Um, so basically, this is not the only package you can use. There's a whole lot of other packages out there we can use for manage state management on our Flutter app. Packages like um, um, Block, and uh, we can use um, Provider, which is by Flutter team. So we can also use Provider, which is by Flutter team or we can use inherited widgets, which is also in here in Flutter. Or we can actually use stateful classes, stateful classes to manage to deal with our states in Flutter. But I want to use um, GetX for managing the state of the app, which is what I, be, I use most in, in working with my clients. And to add GetX, we can just head over to pub pub dev type get x yeah search for get x so right now we are here in get x click on this so the first one and here is get x to install this go to installation copy this Go over to a VS Code inside your roots directory. Clear this out. Here's the code you copied. Hit enter. Um, our get X is installed. Um, we can actually make use of. Um, get storage package, which I like, I like using too. And I uh, can go over here. Okay. Okay. 
this. You can install that, go to installation, copy this, and head over to your VS Code, play this, and paste that. Hit enter. And we just installed these two packages, create this. Let's add, start using them in our app. So we can init our get storage here by making this function sync. And add our weights over here. Add a weight, get storage, get storage that's in it. I can just go ahead and save this up. And um, one more thing is to convert our material app since we're using X for managing the states in our app. We have to convert this material app to be get. And um, so let's add routes for our app. So right now we just added get x and get storage, which will be um, the two part we get x for the management and um guest storage is for dealing with um kind of like saving um key value pairs um into your into your app disk and disk or something like that yeah not actually for state management for state management so let's create another folder called routes And inside this route, you're going to get create two files. One should be app pages underscore pages dots dots, and a second app underscore routes dots dots. So let's finish. Start with routes first. Um, it's so basically we are trying to create a um, named routes. They um, so we already kind of like know the routes where our app will be using, like login, which like the login um, routes, which will be slash login and initial. Um, Initial routes, which will be like just singles, and you have so on and so forth, like slash home, slash onboard, slash sign in, and so other stuff. So that's what we are um, creating right now. So we've got this static string. Um, this will be for onboard. Um, 
And um, I guess. Um, um, board. Um, uh, another Train can call is home, search home. Uh, uh, another one, first stance, we call this login, slash login. And uh, I think this should be it. Save. So we got this saved, and let's go over to app pages, which is this one. So we'll be using this route to um, create pages for our app. And inside here, we create a class called app. App pages. Niche. So it was a splash. Let's go to the Oops. We can have our get pages. So get pages. There's an error over there. So get pages. We have this red hierarchy, meaning uh, it can't recognize this. So make it recognize it, just hover over here. Um, um, okay, not pages, should we get page? And then let's add get package, which is this. And you should have a name. So we say routes, this one should be initial. I can just use the same initial, which is the same as a splash. And we can say page returns splash screen, but basically splash screen should, shouldn't be a splash screen, it's called welcome screen for us. So we just copy this. That pages. Request this over here. And we can just say, uh, yeah. So that will be our initial stage. We can also go ahead and add more pages. So that is get page, and the name of it should be because after. After our welcome screen, the next should be the next should be on board screen. So we can just add that. Add that. So we can just say um so right now we don't have an onboard screen but we can create that by creating another um so let's go over here and create a new folder so create a new folder call it <coughs> And inside our onboard folder, we create another folder called application. And still inside our onboard folder, creating another folder called presentation. So 
So we have application presentation over here. So instead of presentation, where yeah, so we can just get um boarding boarding underscore screen dot dot. Now instead of onboard screen, you can just create a stateful single stateful widget. Um, screen. I need this, this, and to fix this error, hover over here, import material. And that will be that will be imported for us, and the error is fixed. To fix this one, just add an empty container here for now, since we will not be touching that. So we added that. So let's head over to finishing up our pages. So over here we can just name this. On board, on board screen, and that is imported for us immediately. And um, so right now we have two page in our app: our welcome screen, and then our onboard screen. Save this. Let's go over to our welcome screen, which is this. Um, let's finish up. So there are some stuff we left off over here that we need to finish up so that our get X can work perfectly with our app. So we can, we need to add initial routes and pages in this, in this get material app to do that. So we say, say initial route. Our initial house should be our inside our app pages. I'm just say that initial, yeah, that one. Just say get pages, all the pages we will be needing. Come on. App pages does routes, that's what we need. And um, let's save this. So, so far we just did, we just added get S and get storage to our app. And um, um, one more thing, let's add a, a binding, um, binding for our get X. To do that, we have to create another folder called binding. Um, that should be inside a lead folder. Create a new folder called binding. Binding. And instead of binding folder, you create a main binding. It's a main underscore binding. Dot dot. And um, so in here, shall we call create a class? Class main in binding binding stand stands binding from get x bindings. So let's override a method called, so that's a method we need to override. 
which is dependency. Let's say get dot put. So I'm gonna save this. So we just created a binding class where we'll be um, adding our controllers um, over here. In, and now let's initialize our initial binding. This will be initial binding for our app. So main binding. Save that. So right now in our app, we are having there's some not, not really kind of a, a same issue. So an issue we are having is that we have our welcome page and after our welcome page, we can't do anything. So we want to be able to create other screens, go to, go to other page, um, pages in our app. Um, that will be And that would be onboarding page. So to create to create an onboard page, we can actually go over and so okay, yeah, we had an onboard screen, which is this, and we want to be able to say, want to we want to do something like when the animation over here is complete. Um, let's see the animation again from this. Um, let's, let's start it out from the beginning. Okay. On the app, we can. Um, so it's taking some time to kind of build our app. So take a look over here. Yeah, so that stuff. So we want immediately when the animation is done, we want to move over to another screen um, because we don't want any way that when the user app and the only thing they can see is wants to move away from the welcome screen to something else. Uh, maybe a, a home screen, a login screen, a sign up screen. Uh, but in our case, we want to move into an onboarding screen. To do that, let's head over to our launch screen folder. Go share to the application folder here. Yeah? We are going to create a controller to help us do this. We call this welcome that and inside our welcome control. Let's create a class for this. We call the class name welcome. 
I'll say this should extend extends get x get x controller let's import this and then let's fix something else we have here so in here we want to do something like um So over here, let's quickly a function that will be called when the controller is initialized. So when the function is called, it will kind of like delay our welcome screen for like three seconds and then take us over to the next screen, any other screen that we want to see. To do that, we create this function init. Um, let's give it a pop another name. So big part welcome. It will be an async sync function. So I wait for a function for the, that function. Just say something like that for us. So same function dot delayed duration. Let's say three seconds, and once done, we have to move to it. get the of all named routes dot um on board. Just import that, and this we call this function as our super class on init. Is this here? Um. Say this, and one more thing remaining, we have to add this controller to our binding class we created before. Remember this binding here. So this is what we need. Save this. Um now let's use this. Um Yeah, let's on a, let's um, hot reload our uh, hot restart our app again. Let's see. And that worked. So we actually been taken to our on bus screen, which is dark right now. Let's see that in action. So let's go over to our on bus screen, onboarding screen. We are having a single container right now. We can replace that container with a scaffold. And if that scaffold, we can have a background color. We can set the background color to um, app colors. Yeah. And here it is. And here we can actually, on our onboarding screen, we can actually have. Let's add some stuff here. We can say body, say safe area, real safe area, and inside safe area. So if let's have a con um, say test and let's.
Welcome to on button. Okay. And uh, that was it. So let's hot restart our app and test this again. And that was working. So let's see that again. See, welcome screen. And um, immediately the animation is done. We are being taken to the um, to the onboarding screen, which is what we need. So let's let's add our onboard. So right now we are in this section over here. So we just completed custom launch screen, like a pro and um, how to add a custom welcome screen. And um, we're still gonna touch this, but we we completed how to add get X and get storage to your app. And um, so right now we are in this section, how to add onboard page using page view, which is this. So let's add an onboard page. So in here, Let's remove these tests we have here. We don't need a test. We are going to remove the place, replace that with page view. And instead of page view, we are going to have a children. Oh, it's kind of suggest some multiple stuff for us. Um, by the way, if you are thinking of what I'm using, I'm using um GitHub Autopilot. So I'm using GitHub Autopilot. And that's what is suggesting these um, code right here. And um, I usually use that to speed up my coding. But right now it's messing, it's messing some stuff up, which is not what I need. Um, I, I will type that out myself. Let's say children. Sure. And uh, let's add a dummy containers right now. And um, you can just say, call, you can say, chorus dot amber for this. This, like two more times. And then can change this to red. Is that again? Change this to another color, like something blue. Um, um, and last shade we can have something like green. And I think we are done. Let's see how that looks like. What that looks like. So. Yeah, we have a cool onboarding page, but this kind of a skeleton for our onboarding page. This is not what we're looking for. Uh, this is what we are trying to achieve right here. So we are trying to we are trying to achieve this. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we are trying to achieve something like this for our onboarding where we have, see, 
and here the sign up we have the first screen second screen third screen and then we have the sign up page and uh, let's do that Add a column to the first. Um, you're adding a column to the first um, onboarding page. We start creating the first onboarding page for that. And inside that column, we have children. So we have the children. And inside the children, we have something. Uh, have a rule. Inside the wall, we are going to um, let's have, have children and this. We have a test widget. We are going to give a test. So we have the skip. Our test is going to be skip. So we are looking at this, this first test here. Something like this. So we are trying to achieve this, add this. And, uh, this because if you look at the design over here, so we have similar stuff on the design. So if you look over, you see the similar stuff for the design, which is skip, um, the test skip. Let's add that.
main as is dot self example. Let's see this. So we have the skip test over here, right over here, but it shouldn't be centered. We want it at this right end here. Uh, we can just change this. Say end main as dot end, and that will just move everything to the end. And uh, one more thing, we don't want it to be kind of like very close to the tip of the um, to the edges of the screen. We can just give that a padding, add a padding here. I will use edge insect for the padding. I will say um, edge insect dot all. I'll set that to 18. Um, yeah, we have that nice space here. That's cool. And um, what else? So right now we have to add image, our image, like what we have over here, this image. So I wasn't able to find this particular image um, so I was, but I was able to find something like this. So we're going to add something like this, this particular image. If you are look, if you are looking for where to get an image for this, you can look to Boss, if that's been pronounced correctly. So Shopify website called Boss. I usually get high quality images from here. I can type something like um, add and kid. And you can see multiple images you can save it from. Um, there are a whole lot of them you can save. So when you want to download something, download something just click on it. High resolution or low resolution, then hit the download button, and you have that downloaded to your um, your system download folder or anywhere else. Then that's it. So once you downloaded that, you can close this window off. Can go share it over here to your download folder. Then you can see what you downloaded should be up something somewhere here. Well, right now I've already downloaded the image and it's called Father and Child, which is something like this. No, not this one. Where is it? Yeah, dad dash kid. Um, can preview that. Yeah, something like this. So this image I downloaded already. Um, so to add that image to your app, open up your via this this code. And if I hold on this over here in your image folder, hold, drag this, and drop it here. So I will drag and drop it here. And here is our image. So, an image goes by dad dash kid dot jpg. So that's our image. So over here, let's add image to our, so jpg. So you can have a container, container. So the height, height to let's say four fifty. Fifty point zero 
come on. And in there we can have decoration. We can use container decoration, which is box. Can have that box decoration. And inside your box decoration, we go to image property. So inside the prop image property, we are going to use decoration image widget to add our to add our image as a background to the container. So our image will be a background to the container. Uh, we can do that. So earlier it is, so we have asset images that add dash key dot jpg and um, set the box fit to cover and uh, we can also add uh, border radius so border radius should be border radius the circle and we are adding that we are adding the circle radius to be 10. let's save this and see what this will look like cool and we are having this nice image here so we have the image added to the app welcome screen um, not welcome screen to our onboarding screen. And um, one more thing, so we can give you a little space between the skip test and the image. We use a size box for that. Um, yeah, there's the space we needed. And um, so far we added the skip test, the image. Let's add um, this, um, this um, navigation indicator so we are going to add these navigation indicators in here like over here in the design there's this dot this dot indication we have here which you can also see here so let's add that to beneath the image like after the image have that below the image to do that we can head straight to our vs code Inside our VS Code, we can um, inside our VS Code, we can uh, so okay, we have this container under here. Get this add a space size box to add a space, and you say give it something like eighteen. So for the dots, we're going to use a package called smooth page indicator. And we can get that, we can get that pack. We can get that in our pub website. You can just type smooth page indicator. So there's a package. So right here is the package we're looking for. So you can use that for dot navigations and there. So there's a whole lot of animations here for different stuff you need. So let's just install this.
point over to your terminal right here inside of right terminal still in your root folder paste the command and hit enter key that way add this package to our um, app folder so once that is done can i usually like create enough by terminal using the create command and then uh, let's add that to our app and that should be under the size box we have smooth you can see this so you can just use that smooth page indicator and um Can start off by adding a count. Right now, you can hard code the count here. You can just hard code it to be three at the moment. And the effect we need. Can you use the warm effect, which is this? I can just copy this code right here, copy that. Um, over here, we can paste this code right here. And then we can just format our code. And we, we kind of had an, have an issue right now. So this controller, so the dot smooth page indicator need a controller which is the same controller for our page view, which should be page controller. So let's give both of them the same controller. To do that, um, I will not be adding the controller inside here. I'll be adding that to, let's create a, co um, a, a controller class here for our onboard. We call that um, onboard. Board controller. And um, inside our controller, inside here will be um, let's create a class called onboarding um. Oh, so uh, we have a lot of suggestions here. Body controller, let's say, extends 8x control, import this package. Uh -huh. We can add a page controller here. We say page controller, call it our page controller. Okay. I can say already. No. Page controller is equal to we initialize our page controller yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Initial page should be zero. And we can dispose this of um, unclose method. We are saying page controller dot dispose as it. We save this. Now we can make use of this our control. Um, first of all, let's add this inside our binding.
save this. All right, now we can make use of that in our onboarding screen. All right, so you can just. Mm -hmm. yeah. That yeah, let's import these import gates. Now we can make use use of this controller in our page view. You can say page view controller over okay, yeah. here. Nice this controller that page controller are uh, inside. Yeah, I'll do the same for this, and that was it so far. So let's check if there's a way to add more customization to this. Check. Um, Do that. So, so you have dot suite. Okay. So let's save this. Let's refresh the app. Cool. Um, we're having our dots here, matching out to what we need, which is zero, which is, which is this, they have right here. Um, that's it. So we can change the change the color to our app. Um, brand color and that should be you can just color that's color property um, okay yeah so that should be active color that should be up the brand color yeah which is this and there we have that that's nice So we have up to this moment. So what else do we do we need to add? So we need to add this test right here. And then we add this button. Let's do that as soon as possible. So stay over here. And that should be after our smooth page indicator. So let's see. We create a which test widget. Call this which test widget and. Uh, And in there we have our test span, our test span. Uh, inside the test span, test span should have children. Span should have children and um, okay. Let's see. It should be should say find 
Mas... Uh, understanding. And... Tester. Uh, test style. Now have font width. So font width should be bold. Oh, 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 come on. And our font size. Say so font size should be twenty two point zero. And uh, we can have, come on, we can have color. And say app colors dot mental brand color. And um, let's see what we have so far in the screen. Ah, cool. So we have this finding mutual, mutual understanding. Which is close to what we have here. Yeah, get to know your okay. Yeah, finally, make sure you understand it with your children. Yeah, have tests and again, and um, this have a test. Wait, children. Mm -hmm. We have style. Test style. We have front weight. This time, font trade, font trade, and food. This two point zero color actually. Let's do that color. And we can save this, and yet this is what we have. Um, we can make it. Add customize more customization so you can add padding to this and then add padding you can say padding but only only adding to the right 128.0 from the right I say top say 44.0 save this and uh, that should be okay. Yeah, nice one. Um, let's add our button to the app. So height. So the uh, height should say sixty point zero. And now we can have a container. A container we can say the width should be the same size of the screen. With the upgraded dots. Context. That read and then we can have adding. No, let's read this one now. Let's add a uh, 
and um, okay so test um, so we kind of like do some stuff around here so we kind of started hard coding our tests in here so we are going to fix this later on we are going to take all these tests to the um each supposed place Yeah, say test online. So we have test style on front weights that should be normal. And uh, font size that should be 20, color that should be metal, light color. So I save this. Oh, um, okay. So there's an issue here. Our container is not having a, a background color, so that's why we can't see it. So once we save this, we should be able to see it here, but we can't see it because there's no background color. To fix that, we have to add a decoration to it. I will use box decoration. And uh, instead of box decoration, we have something like border reduce. Save border reduce. The circular, it should be 30, 30.0, and we have color, we should be up colors of metal, metal brand color, and uh, save that. Um, so this is what our button is looking like. Um, so let's position the test at the center of the button. We use the test um, center widgets. And now the test is centered. Um, so let's add a padding inside the button. And we can say age inside the
So looking at the design right now. The, the stream kind of froze for some seconds. Let me fix that. And um, let me see. So, so far, looking at the design we have, um, so we can see um, everything is coming together. So we have the skateboarding, the image, the um, the sec the dot indicator. We have the test right here, finding mutual understanding with your children. And um, there's one more thing we can do. Looking at this test. This test kind of like is different with the test we have over here. So we can fix that up. Let's fix that. So head over to this stream here. And um, so is it test okay? So, yeah, is it? Um, so here is it, so we can just add something like this, dots. If you can use the opacity. Can we, come on, come on. Let's see if we can get this cover. Right here. Um, okay, I need to, to do that. And So let's copy the test, the color we just got now. So this is the color. Let's copy this. Um, over here in the in our app, paste it in here. 
I'm just change this to a bit capital letters A E C and that's it. Control S, we save that. And let's try using this on our app. Let's see. It works, yeah. It's working, but correct. I'm not seeing. Of a bit fine motion to understand the weight, the children. Of that color right here, Okay, um, so we have, um, our own first onboarding screen. So we have these. One right here, we have the finding motion, understanding with your children. And uh, so I'm just looking at the design to see if there's something we are missing so far. So we can just fix that up. Our bits of our code we have, and um, we can do that by over here um, at the onboarding screen. There's some stuff we need to refactor and put in a place it's supposed to be. So 
So we start with a test, this test right here. Copy this first one out. So over here we can just create another static. We are going to name this um, um board um, board screen um, more screen one. You can say onboard test screen test one. Onboard screen test one. So that should make it set uh, copy that out over here, paste that in with a custom test dot paste that that works. Next one should be this copy that out, go over into our custom test folder file since to as previous and um test two we press that with what we just copied save this over here so that we can custom test okay is that in here and that's fixed for that and um button test we can just copy this button test uh -huh. um, and what's in BTN Copy that Save Head over right here it is It, so we can start with custom custom test dot is think so removed we change what needs to change move this then need this And copy this, move the is image to somewhere else. Create another folder for our imported image strings. And that should be somewhere. Okay, that should be somewhere in our team folder.
So inside the class over here, we created for our imported images. We call this brand brand images. Let's just say brand images. And um, for this K on board. One image I'll say is equal to this capital save this here over here and we can just use it in place of this test right here pasting here oh, that should be Start with the cross please. Working. So let's see if everything we have so far, all these changes we made so far is working as expected. And um, oh, yeah, it is. Um, so one more thing we need to do we have to convert these. There's um this onboarding screen here to reusable um to become re reusable so you can reuse it multiple times and just change the image and the button test and the test right here and then the position of these so that's what we'll be doing right now. So over here in your presentation, over here in your presentation, outside the presentation, inside the onboard folder, create another folder called widgets. And inside the widgets, we're gonna create um, this um. Onboard. Yes, on board templates. That makes sense. The dots. We're going to make this a stateless widget. Maybe. Um, and um, so onboard template is going to be the name of the widget, and over here we can copy everything we have here. Okay, this status, yeah, so we can copy everything we have in here which is already to the air control c delete that no over here and paste it in here that import this import this import this to fix the issues we're having I think they're all fixed on one more thing so this controller right here um So 
start a controller. So I'm going to create a final widget called each controller here. Doesn't have to have that. Page controller, page controller. We can add that here. I can use this. Take like this, use it inside here. And um, so we, we save this. Now let's use this in our onboard screen. Copy this over here. Yes, paste this. So just import that. Just import. Add the required parameter, which will be just be dot controller dot page controller, which is what is needed. I can copy this multiple times. Let's copy it like this. I can replace all all the stuff we have here. So let's save this. We load our P our app. And let's see. And now we are having our onboard. So it's working. Yeah, next one. Next one. Okay. So that's what we need. Or uh, uh, we made a mistake. That should be three of them. One, two, three, not four. So we delete this last one. One, two, three. Save that. And uh, so the one issue. We have to fix 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 right now. Um, don't mind me. That I have some. So we can actually make this uh, image dynamic. So we can make this image dynamic, and then what else do we have to change? Because Over here, we have different images and different so we have IMG, IMG. I just call it image. That should make sense. Image, and, uh, image, and that should be a string. And, uh, another one should be another string called um, subtitle, sub and last one should be another string called um, button. And add this in our constructor yards here, and we can use all this in our over here, so for the image here, copy this and replace this one with um, image for this, and then what else? Um, this we can. This with other two. So. 
So this should be subtitle. So, um, one more thing should be. Oh, 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 so this should not be subtitle. This should be button test. So this should be subtitle. Um, that should be name this subtitle one. So that should be subtitle one. It should have another subtitle. We shall subtitle two. Um, so this should be subtitle subtitle two and then so let's go over here to fix the issues we'll be having right here. So for the first one we kind of have image and um the image I using custom I think that's the name we're using for that brand images so that should be brand brand images dot All right, add them more than we this. We need it. Subtitle one, subtitle two. Okay. Was it suggest some more? Subtitle one. Subtitle one. We can get that from. Just be this. Custom press. Test dot. And we have subtitle two. Custom test. And uh, one more thing is remaining. Okay, button test. So we can get our button test, which is this. So we have button test. Should be this one right here. And um, Let's fix this. Uh, we'll remove that. We don't need that parameter in there. So I think that should be fixed. So right now, let's download more images for this. So we have one in this image, and we can have kid jumping. for a kid image so okay of that um so on this once we have it okay we use what can we use? So you can use this one. Um, 
da. Okay. Um, okay, guys. I think I has I has a, I had an issue with my internet. Um, it just dropped off. Um,
Okay, let's let me run round off um round up um, these parts here and um we can call it a day for today. Um maybe tomorrow unless we can complete the rest of the stream. Hi, guys. Um, so, I'm so sorry. I just um, had an issue with my, I don't know if it's my internet or something like that. Um, but I'll be kind of like rounding up for today, maybe in our next stream, which I'm planning to have tomorrow. We should be um, Saturday on my own side. Um, then we can continue from where we left off. So right now, in our on our onboarding screen, so far we can only have the same um, stuff, the same image on all screens. So once in a situation we can be able to have dynamic images um, for each screen. Like when you scroll over, you have a new different image. Um, different tests and different button tests, like what we have um, over here on the design, like what the design will have here. So over here in the design, you can see different tests, different images. You can let's see. Yeah, different images, different tests, um, also for the buttons. Um, so that's what we'll be looking at doing on our next episode, which will be tomorrow, hopefully. And um, for today, uh, we'll be stopping here. And um, if you like the stream, um, guys, just subscribe and hit the like button. Um, let me know in the comments. Um, um, thank you, guys. Um, see you next time.